Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a big beauty shopping haul from Boots and Marks and & Spencers and all kind of other places. So if you're interested then keep watching. So I have kind of gone a little bit crazy with the beauty purchases this recent week and I'm not sure why I did it because it probably will take me three lifetimes to go through all the products that I have in my bathroom and I bought more. I just can't stop myself there are so many new products out there and so many interesting products out there. Let's just get the big guys out first and this is the uh, Champneys the original health spa detox. This is the hip and thigh firming mud. I don't know if any of you do this procedure but I sometimes will wrap myself in mud and then I put cling film around my thighs and around kind of that area that you know sometimes we girls get cellulite so I will put cling film around and then I will spend half an hour like that in some like thick joggers and then I will wash it off and it will really help to firm up the skin. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have a really good scrub in the shower and kind of steam my skin then I will apply this I will probably still put the cling film because that kind of creates a sauna effect 10 to 20 minutes to allow your skin to fully absorb and then rinse off in a warm shower. Really really excited to use it because I know things like that do work and if you're trying to fight cellulite or stretch marks or anything like that do give this a try. I got it in boot. Next thing I have here is a scrub and this is the Sakura scrub from Rituals and it's a sugar body scrub and there are lots of salt scrubs and sugar scrubs as well but I do prefer the sugar ones because for example if you have any scratches on your body or any kind of you know little wounds the salt scrubs will hurt like they will tingle and it's not a very nice feeling I don't really like it so I prefer sugar scrubs as you can see I haven't opened it yet but I did sample it in the shop and it has really nice big kind of pieces of sugar it will really exfoliate your skin and then do not forget to moisturize really well after that so yeah super super excited about this it smells incredible like all the rituals products we have two products from soap and glory and I don't know what's going on with me but I'm kind of on this firming journey. I want everything to be firming and lifting. And this is the Arm a Godin. A Godin. Arm a Godin. Give me for being a foreigner. This is my second language. Sometimes I just can't read things. But yeah, this is the back of the arms bumps. Um, in this dress, I can't really lift my arms, but yeah, let me try. So basically, it's for these places, and you know when you have kind of a little bit of a saggy skin there. So this is the smoothing serum. It has some oil in it, so it's meant to be quite moisturizing as well. You're meant to massage it onto your upper arms or anywhere that needs some tender rubbing care. I'll let you know if it's working or making any difference. But yeah, quite an interesting product. And the other one is the Ab Fab, and this is the Skin Toning Tummy Serum. I don't think I will just use it on my tummy, I might use it around my hips or, you know, my thighs and things like that. But yeah, this is just a very super firming gel, and it has caffeine. And caffeine is kind of known for giving you that toning feeling. I use coffee scrubs in the shower, or sometimes you can even have a wrap the same way as I use the mud. And yeah, it has avocado, olive oil, and rosehip oil as well, so really nourishing. And it also says that the stretch marks will appear less noticeable. What else? We have a few masks. And these are the mask bar, and I got this mask in boots. And this is the anti-blemish mud mask, and this is the luminizing charcoal peel-off mask. I have already tried one of these, and I did really like it. It wasn't painful to peel it off, like some masks are, it's like taking a plaster off. So it's very purifying, it does cleanse your skin, but it doesn't strip it off of the natural oils. I have not tried this one yet, but it's meant to soothe and calm your skin if you have any kind of blemishes. It has tea tree and vitamin A and tea tree is very good for drying out spots. So love this one and I'm sure that I will love this one as well. Then we have a foot cream and this is the Bird's Bees Coconut Foot Cream. I use a foot cream before I go to bed. The cream that I was using finished so I was after a new one so I found this one and it smelled so good. Oh my god it's literally like coconuts. It's very very thick and I hate like thin and watery hand creams and foot creams. I always look for like a good 
thick cream that will actually nourish and moisturize my skin. So the amazing thing about Burt's Bees is that they are pretty much all natural. I have repurchased this mask. I have used them before. This is the Seven Heaven masks and they're really affordable. I got them in boots as well. I've got creamy coconut, Dead Sea mud sheet mask and avocado oil mask. They are all fantastic. I think they are under a pound. We have a new product that I have no idea how it's going to work. This is the cooler makeup setting spray with green tea and aloe but the great thing about it is that it has SPF 30 in it I have not tried it yet I saw the packaging I was like mm, that sounds interesting maybe I will grab it so this is how the bottle looks and I mean I have not tried it yet but maybe I can try it on my hand whoa that is strong that smells like alcohol yeah i am not sure about this at all now that i have smelled it i don't know if i want to put it anywhere near my face maybe i will figure out the ways to use this thing so i will update you on that they do say here that with you have to use it with eyes closed and breath held so i'll need to hold my breath it is however cruelty free and that is exactly why i grabbed it and it's meant to be antioxidant enriched with and also hyaluronic acid i'll let you know how it goes we have the philip kingsley elasticizer i have shared with you previously the swim cap cream uh, to protect your hair from sun and salty water but this thing is meant to be intensive super conditioning pre-shampoo treatment for all hair types adds elasticity manageability bounce and shine i mean that's a big promise but i do like anything that will really nourish my hair so if this will great it does smell really good mm, okay really excited to use it now we'll let you know how it goes i think the last thing i have here is a palette and this is the sleek palette the Eye Divine and New Day Mineral Base Eyeshadow Palette. Love sleek products because they are cruelty free and they perform really well and they are super, super affordable. So uh, they came out with this new palettes and I saw this one and all the colors and all the shades looked really, really good. When I swatched it in the shop, the pigmentation was crazy. It is actually crazy. And they're so creamy, they feel amazing. I'm really excited to use it and all of the products that I have ever tried from Sleek were incredible so i'm sure this will not disappoint that was actually it for today thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know if you have already tried any of these products and if you have any recommendations for me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon in my next video